All right, in this video, students, I'm gonna go over the four examples we did in class of how to solve equations, multi-step equations. Um, and as mentioned, the first step is to distribute. So anytime you have parentheses, you wanna distribute the number next to that parentheses. So you're gonna multiply six times x and then six times eight. Six times x is six x. Six times eight is 48. So we're gonna have plus 48. On this side, we're gonna have negative three times negative 16. And just a minute, let me type that real quick. And that answer is positive 48 as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And then negative three times negative two X. Um, that will be positive six X. So in this case, we can proceed with the process of solving equations just for practice, but you already can tell that 6x is on both sides and 48 is on both sides. So this equation, um, the left side equals the right side exactly the way it is. Uh, so this is going to be one of those special answers that we get. Look what happens if we move the x's to one side. We're going to move 6x positive 6x to the other side, so it's negative 6x to cancel it. And we're going to have 6 minus 6, which again, it's a 0, it cancels. And you're left with 48 equals 48. And once again, this is a statement that you can tell it's equal, just like we did earlier. But let's just, for the process, move the numbers to the other side. So we're going to move 48 to the other side by canceling it here and then putting it over here as minus 48. However, this is the same number, so they're also going to cancel, which leaves you with the statement of 0 equals 0. This is one of those where you don't have a value as a solution. You have either infinite solutions or no solutions. If this statement is true, which in this case it is, you're going to say that there's an infinite amount of solutions or infinite solutions. Sometimes we also refer to this as all real numbers as the answer because all the numbers apply. Also, the symbol you're going to see for all real numbers is a little r that looks like that. All right, another example in the notes that we did in class is this one where we, again, distribute, that's always your first step. So negative seven times m, that's negative seven m. Negative seven times negative two, that's positive 14. Over here we have a times three, which is 24, and a times m, which is eight m. Keep in mind that this video, it's a video, so you can always pause or rewind or, um, you know, just try on your own and then play the video just so you can see if you got it right or wrong. We're going to solve for m, so we want to keep the m on one side. m on this side needs to go, so we can have m on the left side. We're going to move it over here by subtracting opposite of what you have. And then here you're combining negative 7 minus 8, so that's combining negative with more negative. Don't think of the multiplication rule. Think of if you have negative 7 and then you're subtracting more, you're going to end up with more negative. Okay, bring these down. <coughs> and then we're going to move the number to the other side. And we have negative 15m equals... I believe that's 10, yes. So here we're going to now get rid of the number next to the letter, which again, right now it's multiplying. To get rid of that, we divide. And this is gonna be a fraction, negative 2 thirds. So that's the answer for that problem. We can now or I just want to say, like, you can use the calculator to check if this is true. And I'll just show it since it's a video. You are going to substitute the answer that you got in the M that you have on the equation. So let's say I'm going to write negative 7. Let me lower this so you can see. 
negative 7, and then instead of the M, we're going to write the um, answer we got, which was negative 2 thirds. And then we're going to subtract 2, close the parentheses, put an equal sign, put 8 parentheses, 3 plus the answer that we got for M, which is negative 2 thirds. and then close the parentheses. So this is you just typing in the equation you had with the answer you calculated, pressing enter, and if it says true, that means that it is correct. So that's a way to check your answers in the calculator. There are other shortcuts you can use in the calculator, but I'll teach you those later. All right, so on this one, same thing, distribute, we get 2b plus 16, and then in this case, we don't have any like terms to combine, so we're going to move on to the next step, which is to move the letters to one side. I'm going to move the B to the left side. It's just something I do, but you can always move the B to the right side as well. 2 plus 5 is 7. And just to clarify, I added 5 because you had negative 5B, so positive 5B cancels that. Okay, now we have this and we're going to solve for B, so that 16 needs to go. And we're going to subtract 16, 7B equals negative 14. And to get the B by itself, you divide by 7, B equals negative 2. So then um, you can double check your answer if you want to. To finish up this video, let me go ahead and just quickly distribute this one half into the eight n. So you're doing one half times eight right there. Um, and then what you do when you do one half times eight, it's actually dividing by two. Um, but let me show you. One half times eight is four. So that's just asking yourself, what's half of eight? Four. And what's half of 14? Seven. All right. I don't need the parentheses no more, sorry, because that's the whole point of distributing. And in this case, you can tell already that four ends on both sides, but the sevens are different. So let's see what happens when we start moving things around. I'm gonna move the N to the other side, and what happens here is that this also cancels. So you're left with a statement of negative seven equals seven. So you can already tell this is not true, but just for practice, move the number to the other side. This cancels and you're left with zero equals 14. So once again, pretty obvious, zero does not equal 14. So this is a false statement. This is known to be said as no solution. And the symbol for no solution will be a circle with a dash. All right, so that takes care of the four problems we did in class. Hopefully that helps you understand this better. And then just don't forget about these two special situations.